So, all right, this is a game where Tornadus can actually do something. I'm going to go ahead and lead off Torn. Hey, thanks for the sub. Thank you for the sub, Ash. Let me see. So, I think here I just literally go Torn Clef. Tyranitar in the back is kind of a must. Uh, and Tapu Fini. And that's pretty, that's pretty simple. Yeah, I am lacking defensive options. Which is something that I typically don't do on, like, teams that I build. Luckily, tomorrow's Thursday, which is the day we team build. Like, typically, if you look at, like, my team history, it's, like, very defensive. <laughs> uh, but not today. Not today. Hey, Mirror VD. Hopefully you making it to the stream means I'm going to do better now. Because so far, this stream has been a nightmare. <laughs> I have been doing very bad with the team. But it's the last day of using it, so it's, you know, it's whatever. It's whatever. It's whatever. You stream when I work, so it sucks. Oh, my apologies. I mean, the stream shifted from 7 to 9. Or sh shifted from 5 to 7 to 7 to 9, so hopefully that helps. So here's the thing, if I lose this game, I am switching to Minecraft for the rest of the stream. <laughs> okay. I just realized that they don't have a sunny day user unless it's the Tornadoes. I'm pretty sure this is just going to KO. It could be Weakness Policy Charizard, which I would very much appreciate it, because that means I'd definitely KO it. No, uh, Water Urshfu doesn't get flip turn, no. That'd actually be really cool if it did get flip turn. It'd be one of the better flip turn users. Okay, yeah, they're maxing. I'm probably going to take this Charizard away from them. I'm probably taking this Charizard away from them. Let's see if it takes it. No, it does not. Nice. So, Charizard's gone. Um, I wonder what move they clicked. Probably just Surging Strikes. Which means uh, Tyranitar's not going to appreciate that. Yeah, okay. I wonder if he lives. I have, I have some defensive investment in this. Oh yeah, he lives. Just barely, though. Actually, maybe. Depending on rolls, he might not. Uh, but next turn, I can literally just, like... <laughs> I can literally just max Airstream. But they can also just Aqua Jet me is the issue. So maybe I just keep the T-Tar and switch in the Clefairy and Aqua Jet. <laughs> they have lost their Charizard privileges, yes. That's probably going to be the next emote, is you have lost your blank privileges, whatever it is. Ooh, I wonder if Tornadus takes this hit. Actually, I should probably target the Urshfu. What do they have in the back? No, no, I literally, I literally prioritize Tornadus here every time. I always prioritize Tornadus. Because I end up winning with Tapu Fini in the end. Uh, and to make sure... No, I just go, I just go Fini here, yeah. A legendary dragon that can spew fire versus one big rock. Who would win? Yeah, so what happened is someone... Here's the reason we're running Tornadus in the first place for anyone who's tuning in uh, and hasn't watched a previous stream, which you should definitely follow. It's usually not this bad, but 
Uh, tornadoes is a special, it's a special case. Uh, on Thursdays, which is tomorrow, we will be free of tornadoes tomorrow. I team build around a Pokemon that the viewers vote on. And Tornadus was the one that people voted for. And the only way I could justify using Tornadus... Oh. I better, I better hit. The only way I could justify using Tornadus Therian over Tornadus uh, Incarnate was literally just to run a Weather Ball set. Because Tornadus Therian's faster, I can like one-shot Thunderous after uh, a nasty plot or something. So as you see there, I have hit myself in Confusion, which is kind of bad. But it shouldn't really matter because I'm just going to go ahead and try to hit it next turn. What's the vote this week? I haven't decided yet. I usually just decide at the beginning of the stream. I'll start to take a poll in other places. Hey, MirrorVD, thanks for the subscription. Uh, I got into my dream culinary school, so wish me luck once I have a schedule and I can finally stream once get Dude, that's awesome. I'm so happy for you. I'm, like, into cooking, but I'm not, like, a... You know, I'm not, like, a chef, obviously. I like to cook. Tornado's tea does just look really sick, yeah. Snap out of confusion, max rockfall. I mean, obviously, next turn, I can still just do whatever I was about to do. A weather ball will KO this Tornado's, and a Moonblast will KO this uh, Urshifu. At this point, they're kind of just banking on, like, swagger confusions, etc. Depending on how the school is, I might get my bachelor's or master's in culinary arts. That's so cool. Alright, uh, with the bulk I have in my tornadoes, I should definitely take this hit. From the Urshifu in case they just tailwind. I'm gonna Weather Ball again. And I'm gonna Moonblast again. They withdraw the Urshifu, probably like Incineroar? Yeah. They're just gonna swagger me, I'm sure. No, they tailwind. Alright, uh, I think I just win. I think I just win. Weather Ball is going to KO. Their, their Urshifu doesn't have much to hit me. Nice. A little Moonblast there. Deal about mm, 30%. <laughs> A useless special attack drop. I'm going to assume they're just going to go ahead and fake out my Tornadus. There's no real reason not to just stay in with Tapu Fini and Moonblast. Because the worst they can do is, like, fake out and hit one of my Pokemon. Yeah, so I just always double into Tornadus and take it this turn. And then I beat the Incineroar with, like, you know, Weather Ball and Tyranitar. The game is pretty much set unless they get, like, some really, really lucky crits. So I'm going to go ahead and double here. Actually, I wonder if Weather Ball KOs from this range. I can test it. I can test it just for fun. They might fake out, though. Oh, no, I'm going to be able to see it, because I should take this. If the Tyranitar took it, I guarantee you the Tornadus takes it. Oh, yeah, he takes it pretty well. This was a very good game for Tornadus. This is a very good Tornadus game. That is so disappointing. Dude, Weather Ball does like nothing. It's only good in max form. It is literally only good in max form coming out from Tornadus. Sandstorm's gone. It's whatever, I win. Alright, check it. Send it in the Clefairy for the meme. I'm also just going to go ahead and KO this Incineroar since the Moonblast does it. They might just protect the Urshifu and like Parting Shot or something. I think they're just going to target down the uh, the Tornadus with the Urshifu anyways.
Tornadus moment. Yeah, dude, Tornadus Therian has such an underwhelming attack stat. I can see why a lot of people just run it defensively in singles. They really doubled the Finny thinking they would do something there. That was a crit too. They landed four crits on me this turn and they couldn't KO the Finny. They couldn't even come close. Okay, so congratulations, guys. Congratulations to me. I won the game, which means we're going to keep playing. <laughs> we're going to keep playing until the stream's over at 9. Yeah, no. Regular Tornadus has better offensive options than Therian. Which is so weird, considering how the other ones work. Because the other ones, their attack stats just get higher. They just get higher. They get more specialized. But Tornadus specializes in speed. So, yeah. And the thing is, with the rest of, like... The rest of the, like, Pokemon that came after Gen 5, Tornadus Therian isn't even that fast anymore. <laughs> That's the sad part about it. Alright, uh, so it's just Tailwind Drago. I think we faced this team the other day. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and... I should be able to lead off Spectrier, Clefairy pretty safely, bring the Tapu Fini in the back. I think my, my last Mon... I can just try out Tornadus for fun. <laughs> no, uh, I think I bring Kartana. Eh, no, that's pretty bad. We can just go Titar. I think Titar is fine. If you guys remember the version of this team with Dracovish on it, that was a mess. That was even worse than this one. I mean, Specs Regi Drago isn't too scary when you have two fairies. You just have to play your fairies right, which I'm about to absolutely not do, by the way. Actually, Thunderous Therian isn't terrible. The only thing is it doesn't have a special flying type move, so it's like, if you see a Thunderous Therian, it kind of has to run some way of increasing its speed. 101 isn't that great. So maybe like, I could see like Whimsicott Thunderous Therian being really scary. I could see that being a thing. Okay. Oh, that's a cool trainer card. All right, sweet. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click the button. We're going to click the button. I think they definitely brought the Drago in the back, but their goal here was to get rid of like Finny and Clefairy first. Uh, I should outspeed the Marowak even with Tailwind. People tend to run these at like absolute minimum speed. So I'm somewhat tempted to Dynamax my... No, no, I absolutely always Dynamax Tapu Finny here. I'm just gonna Shadow Ball. I'm just gonna Shadow Ball and get in like Tyranitar. I could also Protected, but I think protecting might have made more sense, honestly. Let's see if this Marek has speed. I'm also going to break a Sash on this uh, Thunderous, which is kind of big. Because they protect. Let's see if they double protect. They do. They most certainly do. I mean, a rock slide's pretty scary to them at this point. I'm honestly pretty tempted just to Dynamax the Spectre and start hitting things in front of me. Just because Finny does well against the rest of the team. And I'm going to pick up a KO with Tyranitar this turn. I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. Yeah, like looking at the rest of the team, Finny's fine not to Dynamax if I play my cards right. Unless they're a speedy Marowak, I should be perfectly fine Dynamaxing here. Which you really don't see speedy Marowak. And at that, they wouldn't want to stay on the, on the T-Tar.
as they withdraw. Cool. So something's going to take a lot from a rock slide. Okay, yeah, no, I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. I actually have a pretty decent Alola Marowak team for Series 7, but the metagame shifted so much that I don't know if it's good anymore. It was my Player's Cup team. So, that's my Marowak now. You've lost your Marowak privileges. Oh, they're Dynamaxing it! They are Dynamaxing it. A very bold play. Uh, however, I think you're going to find it was not a good one. Granted, they don't outspeed my Tyranitar, because I think I'm going to need that thing to KO it. Very bold play on their part. Oh no, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Alright. Let's get that plus one. Let's get that plus one off. How much does this do? Probably like 20%? Ah, like 25, nice. Okay, so looking at the rest of the team, I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to look at it to make a decision here. I think they're definitely just gonna go ahead and like Earthquake. Yeah, that makes sense. They're probably just gonna like Tailwind. Uh, not really concerned with the Thunderous. I'm going to hit this thing. Get a Michael Ferry. Have you run into your teams on ladder? I played a couple people using Zerk Cole after your video. Oh, for real? If you ever see people using my teams, let me know. Like, honestly, it's very rare for me to run into my own teams. It happened a lot more often when Sword and Shield first came out. Uh, because there weren't as many teams, you know, running around. But let me know. Like, I, I, I always find it fun running into my own stuff. But what's funny is I typically run into my own stuff when I'm on an alt, so people won't know they're facing me, so I'll just be like, hey, that's a pretty cool team, where'd you find it? And they'll be like, oh, I got it from Moxie Boost, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> that thing just vanished like its mother. Don't talk to Marowak that way. <laughs> Don't treat Marowak like that, dude. Okay, um... I kind of want to do something a little funny. Guys, I'm going to do something a little funny and hope that it works out. This is never, this is never the correct play, but it'd be very funny if it worked. All right, with friend guard, I think I take that. It'd be very funny if it worked. Please, please KO. I need this in my life right now. This would be so funny. I want Clefairy to get a double KO, please. Someone clip that. <laughs> we got the double KO with the Clefairy. We got the double KO with the Clefairy. Okay. So that's going in the video. <laughs> that is most certainly going in the video. Hey, Celesteela. How you doing, bud? How you doing? So how many turns of Tailwind are left? Two turns. I don't want them getting any... I don't want them getting any boosts. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get in the, the Tapu Fini here. And protect. Thumbnail? Yeah, it's in the thumbnail. It's definitely in the thumbnail. I kind of wish there was no sand in the thumbnail, but... It's whatever. Sparkling Pika, how you doing? We have seen me lose the Celesteela. We have seen me lose the Celesteela 1v4 before, so hopefully that isn't today. Oh, 
Okay, good. Tabu Fini avoided. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to assume they're just going to flash cannon here. I'm going to call mine up. I don't want them getting any boosts, so Tyranitar with the with the sand should live this. I hate sand, it gets everywhere. <laughs> I forget how it goes. I've never watched all the Star Wars prequels all the way through. I've like seen all of them in, in like bits, but I've never finished it. You just got policied. <laughs> Alright. So now Tailwind's gone. And I got my calm mind up, so I can just start clicking buttons. It's coarse and rough and gets everywhere. Yeah. So at this point, I'm at plus one special defense. It's going to be kind of hard to lose unless it's like a Leech Seed Celesteela. In which case, it's very easy for me to lose to it because I'm bad. I'm going to Muddy Water here and protect. Basically, just don't give it any boosts. Just deny it as many boosts as I can. Nice. Accuracy drop, please. Good damage, too. That's like a three shot. Probably Meteor Beam. Unless we see leftovers here. Just judging by the damage it did, I think it's Meteor Beam. Yeah, that's gotta be like max, max Celesteela, so. Uh, I should be able just to win by... I don't need Tyranitar, I'll just lash out here. Because like Muddy Water into a Shadow Ball will do just fine. Or even like a Helping Hand Shadow Ball should KO. Oh, wow, Tyranitar lives on one. Okay, T-Tar, go off. Go ahead and take this KO. Go ahead and take the KO. Tap if you just, like, alley-ooped it to you. Goodbye. Nice. Okay, so that was a fun one. <laughs> that was a fun one. I'm glad that I actually managed to pull that off. Glad I managed to pull that off. All right. Yeah, let me take a look. I want to look at the Celesteela. I think it might be like max speed. Yeah, it's max speed, max special attack. Ooh, it was a max speed Marowak. Okay, that could have been an issue. But that also explains why it didn't live. That's scary. That's scary. Okay. That could have been really bad for me. All right, we're recovering from that awful first half of the stream. We're slowly recovering. And the stream hasn't crashed yet, so that's pretty good. <laughs> Turbo whack. Is that an Avaluk? Did Aaron, Aaron made a video on this one, I think. It's, it's going to be like Swagger Finny, I'm sure. There's no way you use, like, Avalog without Swagger Finny. It's probably Assault Vest, too. Alright. This could be kind of kind of crazy. Swagger Thundy? Okay. Is there any move we have that doesn't... Okay, I'm going to lead off Cart and Spectrier. And I think that's fine. I'm going to bring Clefairy. This is going to be a very frail game. I'm going to I'm gonna put that out there right now. This is going to be a very frail game. Uh, and I think my last Mon. For the culture, even though it's very suboptimal, Tornadus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Finny doesn't get Swagger this gen. That's what it is. That actually makes this a lot easier. That makes this a lot easier than it, than it would have been. Ah, uh, yes, the Angie and Didi. People don't use the Angie and Didi enough. We gotta use Angie and Didi a little bit more. Most people are just into Nene. What emotes do I even have? I always forget. I need to add more. I have a good amount of emotes. I have a good amount of emotes, the Nene's, you know. 
By the way, the Angie and Dee was created by Ash here in the chat. So can I get some nays in chat for for an untitled folder? Creator of the Angie and Dee. Bruh. Peep this one. Not really. Peep this one. No more Avalug. So what's going to happen here is his Thunderous is going to go ahead and click the funny move because he's Lumberry. Probably. And I'm going to go ahead and get in my, my boy. And I'm going to go ahead and Will-O-Wisp. Alright, we should go full screen too. It's own tempo. Okay, so it's probably like a salt vest. Hopefully it's not Lumberry. <laughs> I really hope it's not Lumberry. That would suck. It'd be really cool if you missed too. That'd be pretty awesome. I love Avalog, dude. Ta Ooh, smart guy over here. <laughs> Thanks to the sub Atrix. Okay, so that's pretty big. That's pretty big. Max Hailstorm. I love that. Yeah, friend guard's pretty good. Friend guard's pretty good. But check this one out. I'm about to make the biggest brain play I have made in my entire life. The biggest brain play we will see on Pokemon. And this is a terrible play. I will for <laughs> I will I will I will, you know, just go ahead and tell you guys before. This is an awful play. We're not going to KO it this turn, but dang, the Kartana's going to in a minute. The Kartana's going to in a minute. <laughs> do I care if they have Eerie Impulse? No. I do quite a bit, but it's more likely they would taunt the Clefairy, right? Wouldn't that make more sense? Because they don't want me to redirect away the Swagger, so I think they would just go ahead and taunt now. I'm, I'm probably wrong, but that'd be pretty cool if they did. Told you. <laughs> Told you. So helping hand goes before, which is huge. Okay, that is within cart range. That is cart range now. Okay, no longer within cart range. No longer within cart range. But... I should be fine. I should be fine. I think I still just KO. Probably not. Bruh. Peep this one. <laughs> I gotta shut up. I gotta shut up. Okay. Uh... Getting the torn. I'm about to weather ball this tornadus. Or I'm about to weather ball this thunderous. You guys are gonna see it live. You guys are gonna see it live, dude. Phantasm again. They're gonna eerie impulse me. They're gonna eerie impulse me. But it'd be really funny if I could weather ball that, that thunderous. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'd really like it if they took the spectre away from me, to be honest. Watch this crit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Tell me you like quaked or steel spiked, because I can take either one of those with Thundee. I just most certainly cannot take a hailstorm. And hailstorm. Steel spike. Okay, cool. That's better. That's better. Because we eat that. We eat that. And finally, I'm going to be able to deal with the Thundee. I'm going to deal with the Thundee the way that this team was meant to deal with the Thundee. This is the way the team was meant to deal with Thundee, dude. Their max is over. It's time. It's time. It's time. 
Okay. Bruh. Peep this one. No more thunderous. Uh, and I guess I can just sacred sword. We are literally calc to outspeed this thing. They withdraw. What's getting sacred sorted? Bronzong? Bro. Peep my taunt. <laughs> Alright, goodbye, Thunderous. It's not gonna KO because we know how disappointing this Pokemon is. I told you guys. I told you guys. I knew it. <laughs> Thunderous, why, or Tornadus, why do you have to be so disappointing every time I use you? Tell me you just targeted Kartana of all things. No, okay, goodbye, Tornadus. You, you were you were cool. You were a pretty cool Pokemon while you lasted. You, you were you were pretty cool. Yeah, you know, that was that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> oh, I hate this thing, dude. I hate my Tornadus so much. Okay, so he can just Trick Room and win is the thing. I'm just gonna say that right now. He can Trick Room and win. I know for a fact he's carrying Body Press. There's no way they don't. Do you guys remember last stream when I had a plus two helping hand max airstream into a Dynamax Garchomp and it didn't KO? Bruh. I'm gonna keep saying it. Peep this crit. If I crit my helping hand sacred sword, maybe it'll KO. It did not crit. Goodbye. Wow, that did nothing. There it is. There's the funny move. Okay, uh, how do I do this? I definitely just lose now. I definitely just lose this now, dude. <laughs> oh, dang. I hate you, Thunderous. I hate you so much. Or not Thunderous, Tornadus. <laughs> oh, mm. now I'm sad. I thought I might have actually done something there. I was hoping the Avlog just came in, like, extremely irresponsibly. He's probably just going to taunt me. T-Bolt. Okay, Clefairy? Yep. Watch me win. I'm gonna somehow win this. Okay. So here's how I win. Sacred Sword into the Thunderous, predicting the Avalog to come in and the Finny to protect. Ah? Huh? Ah? Huh? Using my thinker. I'm using my thinker. Okay, yeah, no, I think I lose. <laughs> and that did not KO. <laughs> Good game. Goodbye. Goodbye. I've embarrassed myself with this, with this Tornadus enough. And by that, I mean we have one more Tornadus game that I'm going to go ahead and embarrass myself with. We're going to do one more embarrassing match. I blame, I blame Tornadus. I blame Tornadus. Ooh, Halucha, I haven't seen that in a long time. They look very weak to Clefairy Spectrier. And they could bring the, they could bring like the, um, the Grimmsnarl, but it's not really the end of the world. I mean, I literally just bring Kartana then. Kartana does great versus their team, minus the, uh, the Metagross, so. Uh, and I think my last mon, I'll go ahead and just bring Finny. They have a couple answers to Finny, but I think Finny overall is just an okay mon here. Yeah. Coaching Electric Seed? That could be cool. 
Is it like physical type of cocoa then? That'd make the most sense. Yeah. I mean, my play would stay the same. I would just follow me Willow Wisp if they lead off Tapu Coco. Or I could be really, really ballsy and go ahead and just go for a helping hand Max Phantasm and try to KO there. That'd be kind of risky, though. I cannot lie. That'd be kind of risky. Yeah, tomorrow we are not going to be using Tornadoes. Today is today we are burying Tornadoes. <laughs> Halucha is ally switch? Fun! We love that. We love facing ally switch Halucha. Okay. Um... Honestly, like, yeah, they're just gonna light screen. So I can... I can Icy Wind here. I think I'm just gonna Icy Wind and go... Tapu Finny. Because they might just Thunder Wave me, or Scary Face, or something. I don't want to play with, like, Speed Ties, or them switching out. So I feel like Icy Wind's just a nice middle ground play. As they fake tears, okay. Um, actually, I think I'm cool with that. I think I'm pretty cool with that, to be honest. Yeah, that didn't even come close to KOing. It must be Sash. Cool. So I think what I'm going to do now is go ahead and protect and go for another Icy Wind. Just to make sure I, I outspeed this, um... Just to make sure I outspeed the Spectre. And I'm going to deal with the Grim Snarl first. I'm going to Moonblast next turn. Them leading off like this makes me think they didn't bring Coco or Halucha. I think it's probably just going to be like Metagross. Yeah, they probably just double Shadow Balled. Snarl, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for damage. Hopefully I connect on the Spectre, that's all that really matters. Yeah. So now I definitely outspeed. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll Helping Hand a, a Moonblast into this Grim Snarl for damage. And then I can just get in my Kartana and it kinda goes crazy. I did bring the Kartana, right? I'm pretty sure I did. And they can't, they can't Thunder Raid me. They would have to have Scary Face. Which on this team, I don't think they do. Since they're running like dual screens. It'd be really cool if they tried to Spirit Break here. Fake Tears, that's fine. I don't mind losing the Finny here. As long as I take this Grim Snarl. Eh, not quite. That's fine. That's fine. Maybe tomorrow build around a Pokemon named Incineroar. It's pretty underused. Oh, I'll think about it. Might be, might be okay. It might be an okay Pokemon. Okay, check this out. I don't have to worry about speed ties anymore. I'm immune to scary face. This is safe.
Weakness policy in Cinemar? No. <laughs> I've seen that before. I faced it in like the first Players' Cup qualifiers. That was not fun. Bulldozing Zen for a sneaky proc? That'd be, that could be kind of cool. That could be kind of cool. They don't Dynamax, so I just take this thing from them. Watch them have a dark move. Watch them actually have a dark move. Get a nice plus one there. Spirit Break, that's whatever. That's whatever. I can probably just helping hand another hit into the Grim Snarl, and I think it'll KO through screens. Where's the Metagross? I see no situation where they don't protect the Metagross and try to get a policy. Hopefully this will somehow KO. <laughs> I mean, I've got friend guard, right? Looks like so I can take the hit from the Metagross. I just really need this KO. Alright, we do get the KO, that's nice. So a uh, helping hand max phantasm should KO this uh this metagross now. And they steal spike. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. How many turns are left of light screen? Like two? Rotom, okay. So, I think I have to target the Metagross now. Rotom doesn't KO me. And I can beat the Rotom with Clefairy plus Kartana, so I have to target here regardless. Special Glacier, evil. That'd be evil, dude. Yeah, if they don't protect here, I think I just win. Rotom protects. Awesome. No max guard. Nice. Yeah, I win. That's game. Goodbye, Metagross. Kartana comes in and wins. Not that it matters. I can just go ahead and Shadow Ball. But nice. You know, we just get a little, we get a little dub there and off the stream. Richie says GG's. Well, good game to Richie. I assume you know him. <laughs> Physical Spectre would actually give it coverage. Yeah, doesn't it get, like, high horsepower and stuff? Coming from a stream side. Oh! I'll go ahead and give him a nice little raid, then. Give him a nice little raid in a second. Because we're about to end off this stream anyways. Um, tell me his name on Twitch. Don't send the link, because it'll block it. But let me know what his, uh, what his Twitch name is, so I can go ahead and raid him. All right, nice.